Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. We had some rain a couple days ago. Um, we had just kind of got in the field a little bit yesterday, but uh, just did a little bit here at the farm, put into a bin, and today we'll be hauling back to Frito Lay. Picked up a little mud here on the tire, so I don't really want to take this in the barn lot. So I'm going to back up to this driveway here. Dad's bringing the def tote over with the forklift because I need to top this thing off with def. There he is. All right. So I need to top this off with def. <coughs> Excuse me. And I need to clean off my windows. So let's get after it. Check it out, we got clean glass. We got a full tank of DEF. Three quarters of a tank of fuel. And let's hit the road. All right, hoppers out. Augers just about pulled it out here. Better raise up the reel. All right, let's roll. Working on opening up this field. Just takes a while. Hopefully dad uh, comes over here shortly with his machine. He's at the farm right now fixing a gear shift in that 470 quad. That's on the other auger cart. Because yesterday it locked up and quit working. So. That thing was, it was pretty inconvenient because uh, it was parked right in front of the hopper that we were dumping on to load the bin. And uh, yeah, it wouldn't go into gear. It was stuck in park right in the way. So uh, yeah, not, not, not a very convenient spot to have that happen. But he's working on it. So hopefully he gets a fix here soon and the other combine and cart can come over here and help me knock this out. I'm like super focused right now. Gotta make sure I'm on the right rows. I don't want to be picking the neighbor's yellow corn. For one, I don't want the yellow corn. And for two, Frito won't accept it. So. I don't see the yellow corn. We're good. Look at there. There's the other auger cart. She's back in action. Just got done here. He's got a round to make over here. And then I got some uh, short rounds to make over here to my south. And then we'll be loaded up into the next field. I'm going to make my way to the next field with the 12 row on the combine, so I guess we'll see how that goes. It should go pretty good. We're, it's not too far away from here. I just wish this had the folding option, but we're just gonna send her down the road. You know, if all the roads were like this without poles on each side, it wouldn't be bad at all. But you get on some roads that have poles and houses with mailboxes right on the road and trash cans everywhere, it can be a little tricky, but oh well. Frito-Lay is slow. Here we are. Um, I'm just about full. He's full. We don't have any trucks in the field. Both logger carts are full. So now we just sit here and wait. Oh boy, this might be a long rest of the day. It's quarter after four, and and this is this is the first we're having to wait like this. So at least we got quite a ways through the day without having to do this. But it's no fun waiting around like this. We're moving now. Probably be moving for about ten minutes. 
gonna be sitting again. We're getting low on fuel. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, what was the percent? The fuel level, 13 percent. Well, it wasn't 13, but I was on a uh, downhill slope there, so it came up a little bit. Yeah, I'm probably sitting about 20 percent. Yeah, see, I'm on flat ground. 14. I really wish I knew why this GoPro um, dies when the battery level is at 38%. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I'm sitting about 14% fuel level. Um, I would imagine the fuel trailer should be on its way anytime because I'm going to need some of that to keep going. But uh, yep, we'll have to fill this thing up and we'll fill it up and I'll be able to go the rest of the day and all day tomorrow on, uh, on a full tank. So. We'll be in good shape, but we got a cart sitting at the end of the field, and we got one cart that's about to be full here when he comes back to my hopper. So, where are the trucks at? Come on. Come on, Frito. Speed it up. Well, we got 5% uh, fuel life left, so we got what one more truck to load. No, I wasn't, Rock. Um, I'm gonna keep going, so stay tuned. Hopefully I don't run her dry. I shouldn't. We're gonna be done here pretty soon anyway. Well, we got 3% and I'm gonna go put fuel in this thing. I guess what do we gotta do? Just fill up his car or combine, that's it, right? Yeah, we gotta fill yeah, up. Just fill, and run here. fill up one more car. Um, I'm not gonna risk running out of fuel um, this evening. So, I'm gonna go ahead and fill her up. A light switch here somewhere. Maybe it's up here. Kink in the hose. Well, we got her. Well, it was at 100, now it's at 95. She's full. Now we can go all night. But we're not going to because dad's making his last round now. Uh, everything's full trucks and carts. So he's going to fill his up and head home. You know, I've actually talked about this in the past a little bit. Um, I don't know if I've talked about it this year, actually. It's been last year. But anyway, um, I usually like to park the combine facing the east when I go home at night because... So as you can see, it's very foggy, very wet. But look at my front window. It's dry. Now the side windows, they're all wet. And the reason they're all wet is because the sun has not been burning on the window. So if I would have had this thing facing the west, all my windows would have just been all wet and miserable. So when you face it to the east, the sun comes up, burns all that dew off the windows, and they're nice and dry. And they're also clean because I dusted them off before I went home. So it's wet this morning. It's, it's going to be a little bit before we getting some corn. The shucks need to dry off quite a bit. It's it's wet. I mean, shoot, this is just as bad as rain. But um, I got to grease this corn head and uh, it'll be filled up last night, so we're going to go on fuel. Just let this thing warm up a little bit, and then I'm going to go drive it over to the service truck, grease the head, and probably wait just a little bit more before we can uh, start chucking corn.
Ah, uh, you're loaded. Okay, thanks, Robert. What do you think? Oh. Think the beans are cut this morning? Yeah, I think it's gonna be a little bit. <laughs> the beans. Well, we don't have to worry about that. No, that's true, but it's still gonna be a bit on the corn. You got it greased up? Yes, sir. Let her eat. It's time to throw the sticks forward. Dew's burning off. It's still soaked. It is, it is wet. It's wet. It's wet, but we got to go. Let's go. All right. I gotta grease my corn head. Take a step down. I gotta grease my corn head. I got a few more units to grease than you do. Make sure you check your oil too. Yeah. And a few more Zerks. I got one per row. I got three. That's what happens when you run a big dog. Right. <laughs> there's one we gotta hit. There's two right there. And there's three. All the way down the line. be slow moving here for a little bit because they still are a little damp. Shucks are still a little damp, but uh, it should dry off here fairly soon. I mean, the sun's been out all morning, so won't take much uh, to dry them off. That'll work. going smooth so far today. I uh, haven't had to wait any. Frito lay must be uh, either slowing down because people are moving back to beans or yeah that's probably the case. Although I haven't seen anybody around here cutting beans but I would assume here anytime people would be uh, getting back into beans if they have uh, beans still to do. But. Yeah, we've been uh, moving right along. Haven't been sitting any. Grandpa's in the other combine. He's enjoying that. Dad was in the cart. Now I think he's in a truck. He's kind of all over. Yeah, the I need to first. I'm out of here. Yep, Jeff's in the cart now. So people jumping around today. I've been stationary here in this combine. Tom's been stationary in his auger cart, but Dad's in a truck now, Jeff's in a cart, and Grandpa's in a combine. Well, folks, the sun's about down. We've been moving right along today. Pretty big day we had. And uh, we're about to finish up this field we've been working on for a while. I'd say we still got about an hour and a half, maybe a couple hours left here, but We'll get this wrapped up this evening and uh, shut them all down. And tomorrow morning, we'll move over to a new field. Start it all over again. We really have not been waiting much at all today, uh, but we are about to, about to stop and wait now. Both carts are full and my combine's three quarters and dad's probably half, so. I'll be full here in a second, and then I'll be sitting until a truck shows up. But for the most part, it's been pretty good all day long. We've got along great. We're getting full. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it to the end at least. There it is. Yank the stick back real gentle like. Otherwise I'd have it piled up on my cab. No cab corn. 
Actually, you know, I haven't even had cab corn because it usually spills off the side before it actually goes over the front. So I have had some uh, spill off the side, but I don't have a pile on the cab, so. Well, here's the last pass of the night. We're done with this field. Time to go home. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna hit the windows real quick, pull off my feeder house, and then I'm out of here. So, that's it for this video. Probably can't even see me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.